stressful. So yes, yeah, I know that's mm-hmm. a lot to, from Florida all the way to Illinois. Was yeah. that by choice? Was um, that what you wanted to do, or is this something you had to do? Yes, that that's what I wanted to do. So I had a contract in Florida. That's why I need to finish it first. And uh, my daughter moved in Illinois because of her condition. She has autism. So when she was still with me in Florida, we've been waiting for so long to get these services. It, it takes so long. So I can't just sit down there and watch her bang her head whenever she's frustrated and all. Um, I need to do something. So... Her dad and I decided to bring her to Illinois. So that moment, bam, she got diagnosed, she got the services and all. Even if it's it's been so hard for me that time that she needed to be away from me. But we need to do that for her. That's for her own benefit. She's doing well right now. She's in ABA school. She's improving a lot. So as soon as I finished my contract in Florida, I moved so I can take care of her. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I see some people in the audience that they, they know they they deal with, they have kids with autism as well. So they, they can relate. And ladies and gentlemen, you guys in the audience towards the end, you guys will have the opportunity to ask us some questions if you'd like. So please stick around. And uh, and be patient, okay. And let's let's learn about Melissa together. All right. So Melissa, boom, there you are on the beach. I'm painting the picture for everyone, and that's where you go when there's a lot on your mind and stuff. And you like looking in your phone, and then you see an ad on Facebook, and it's like hook up with someone, right? <laughs> you decide to click on it, and you like, wait, what is this? live stream who was some of the first streamers that you seen that was live on there and how long ago did this happen uh i started uh watching streams like march 12th it oh, was march 12th okay, okay. so you this see year. people and got you yeah so, so it's a1 a1 and uh pay me Mm-hmm. A1, Pay Me, DD the Gold. Yes. So those were um, the people you seen in the beginning. And did yeah, you- Big Famous Sin, okay. Flush Love. Yes. Okay, so what did you think when you seen those streamers, right? What did you think? What What was the first thing that went on in the end? So, it was in Flush's stream. Mm-hmm. Um, They've been, oh, as soon as they saw me, like, Mel- previously, my, my name is just Melissa, so it doesn't have Asian persuasion until Fully G gave me that name. So they are they were talking about a topic that I am not really aware of because mm-hmm. I wasn't born and raised in the U.S. So I just I just moved from the Philippines to the U.S. five years ago. So mm-hmm. the terms and all are kind of like new to me. You know, I'm not familiar with the colloquial words that they are using. Mm-hmm. I just, I needed to, you know, figure out like, what did he say? What are they talking about? I am really blank. <laughs> I am going to lie. Do you remember what the term was? <sighs> I did like nasty. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. You said it was this. <laughs> it's it's blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> so here you are, you in this stream, they talk about blue balls, and you like, what the hell is blue balls? <laughs> um. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, I could already imagine what that conversation was like. Yeah, I'm not. 
I'm not, you know, all of those topics, you know, I'm not, um, professionally, I'm a teacher. So I'm not really in the streets with all the colloquial words and all. I'm not really familiar. I'm not really aware of those. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's so funny. Now you gonna learn today. <laughs> I am. And then people started to invite me in the box, and I ain't accepting the invitation because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. You know. And then um, they, they they called me catfish. Mm. Oh, she's a catfish. She's not a real person. Da, 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 da. You know, because I know there are not a lot of Asians in the app. Right. So they'd be like, oh, it's, you know, exotic. <laughs> it, it is. It definitely yeah. is. At least, especially for this side, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Growing, but, you know, it, it is on this side exotic. On the other side, it wasn't so much because there were other there were others, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So I definitely agree with that. Let's let's go back, Melissa. Who is Melissa? Tell us a little bit about your background, where you was born. I know you mentioned the Philippines. So yeah. tell us how that was like growing up. Who you grew up with, like siblings. Yeah. So um. I'm from the Philippines. Um, I have three siblings. Um, my parents, um, I, I came from a poor family. So my parents work hard, really work hard for us so we can go to good schools. So we grew up without all the gadgets, without all the good clothes, without, without all the good shoes. But they made sure that we are getting the right education, good mm -hmm. education. So it means I'm not really used to have all those stuff. So, yeah, I came from the poor family. Gotcha. Yes. Um, um, I, when it comes to education... I'm not bragging about it. So I had three degrees. I had my bachelor's, my master's, and my doctorate. Period. What do you have it in? Uh, educational management. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. What, what motivated you? To get all those degrees? Bro Growing up now, were you were you born and you was born and raised in the Philippines? Or? Yes, I just huh. I just moved to the U.S. five years ago, so I arrived here in two thousand nineteen. Um, after after I I attained my doctorate degree, like it's only like a month when I received the job offer from Florida. Oh wow! So, um, the, the 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 school system in the Philippines offered me an admin position, but I chose the job offer that Florida um, education gave me, because of course I'll be getting the choice that I know it will benefit my family. Period. Mm -hmm. So, so growing up, was it both of your parents? Did you grow up with both of your parents? Were you yes. Own? Yes. Uh, yeah. My siblings? parents are still together. I have three siblings. They are all married. We're all, married. all married. Yeah, we were all married before, but I'm divorced right now. Got you. When you growing up, were you? What are you? The oldest child, middle, youngest? I, I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. Okay. So being the youngest child, what did you see? What were some of the struggles that you had? Yeah. Um, it is because we're all, we're all studying that time. Right. So my mom, my mom, what my mom and my dad were doing was 
because education in the Philippines is not free. So we mm. need to pay. So what what they are what they were doing before? Even as like middle school, elementary, you had to it's pay. It's not free. Oh yeah, my. although although like you were in the public school, but still you need to pay the test papers, the materials, da da da, and all. So it the food is not free too. So there's no free breakfast, no free lunch at schools. So your parents need to have money for you to be in school. So. We, we, we all graduated from public schools. And then when we, we, like high school, our parents sent us to private schools. So what we're, what we're doing that time is that we're going to pay the entrance fee. And then for the next um, testing date, my mom will be getting in the line in the admin office to get, a, a, you know, a temporary note that we're going to be paying the next fee. Like, we need to take the test. Right. And then we're gonna, just going to pay it, like, next month. So it's a promissory note. We call it promissory note in the Philippines. So that's that's one of the struggles. So yeah. my mom needs to line up, get in the line, wait. But we did it. I mean, we were able to finish high school all of us in private schools and then college so just to admit, just to be clear are, are you saying there were there were times where your mom couldn't afford to pay it but you had to yes. make a promise to pay later on yes. stuff like that is like kind yes of, okay yes. Yeah, yeah education but and then was it set up as if you're not paid up by the ending that you won't get your diploma yes oh wow yes that, that is tough. So yes, how did that make you feel, or your your parents feel? Was that like the norm there, or was it like it? It it it, it is it is a norm because um, having a good education in the Philippines is so important because you can't get a good paying job if you don't have the education. It's the competition is very, very tough. So the, the standards are very high, even if the pay the pay scale is not that good, but mm. still that is the norm. So we have to embrace it. Got you. How was your relationship with your siblings? Oh, um, my, my siblings and I are still talking. So my siblings are not here. I'm the only one in the family who is in the U.S. And they're still back in the Philippines. Yeah, everyone is still in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we call every day, message and all. Yeah, and even, and even my mom and dad, my mom and dad always call me like every day before, you know, as soon as they wake up and before they sleep, they are always, you know, updating me what's going on with my kids because I have three kids in the Philippines oh. from my previous husband. Yeah. Got you. And who takes care of them? My parents. Beautiful. My parents. So in school, did you have any struggles? Were, were there a moment where you felt like you couldn't do it? Um, academically, I am really a fighter. So I was an achiever in school. Now, a cheap, yeah. overachiever. I am an overachiever. All right, let's go. <laughs> and for... Were you for one my, of the kids hmm? that if you received the B in the class, you would cry? What was that? I said, were you one of those kids if you received a B and yes. you would cry? Yes. Yes. Oh. Dude. So straight yeah. A student. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, kids? I really wanted to. I really wanted to be on top because, again, the tuition fee that we are, you know, paying in the schools. I mean, my parents need to really work hard for that. Right. So I need to. I need to, I need to uh, 
treasure whatever it is that they are putting on to this, you know, stuff. Got you, got you. So, so now let's 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 jump a bit. Let's discuss your first attraction. Do you remember that? Your yeah. first boy crush. Yes. Um, what age were you? Six. You were six. <laughs> Oh, All I right. was, oh. I was six. I was six years old. And, yeah, and, and. yeah. He he was my childhood friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you met him he, in school. Oh yes, and um, he's in the neighborhood. Okay. Right. Until but, now, he still looks good. He's in the U.S., but he's married. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever did you ever come out and tell him you liked him? No. You never told him? Mm-mm. Until now. Cuz sometimes the, she he's going to be like commenting on my post on Facebook and all. He you never know. Mm-mm. So what you told him now but he's married? No. Oh, you did. Okay, so he knew you back then you was. Mm-hmm. How did he find out? My cousins, my cousins told him. They <laughs> spilled the beans. We call that a snitch, Melissa. <laughs> I know. I'm like, they what? On you. They spilled the beans. <laughs> so what did he? What did he say when they told him? Um, it's not a big deal for for him. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a big deal for him. So gotcha. Yeah. So let let's move up to that moment. You graduated high school. What did that feel like for you? When I graduated in high school, yeah, um, I remember my dad and my mom were crying during my graduation day. Guess I ended up being the salutatorian of the of the batch of 2000 batch that time. So it was, it's, it's worth it. All the sleepless nights and all it, it was worth it. So I, I, you know, I really appreciate my parents, um, giving me that opportunity to be, you know, to get that education because again, education in the Philippines is a privilege. Right. Have so I you, have a question. Have, Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Melissa, how are you? Hello, Donna. Hi. Okay, so I have a question. You spoke about your crush. Um, can you? What's what? What's your na- the nationality of your crush? Filipino. Okay, so when did you discover that you were attracted to African American men? <sighs> Four years ago. So that's what that was prior to downloading the app. Yes. Okay. So prior to downloading the app, you discovered that you were attracted to African American men. Did you ever have the opportunity to experience with one, or or was the app gonna provide you the opportunity? Um, four years ago, no, but. In 2022. So was that prior to or yes. after, John? It, it, was, it, it was prior downloading the app. Because I just okay. downloaded okay. the app March. Okay, I apologize on this that part. Yeah. Okay, and how comfortable are your parents knowing that you date outside of your age? Um, my parents, they don't have problems with that. So for as long as I'm happy, 
they will gotcha. support me. Yeah, Good. they yeah. they are not. They are not. They don't do that. It doesn't matter. Okay. Are any of your child kids, kids biracial? No. Okay. I'll all right. Something else. That's all my questions for now. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Uh, so. So my next question for you, right, is have you and your parents, was there a moment where you, you guys bumped heads or didn't see eye to eye? What was the question again? Have you, uh, your parents, right? Was there ever a moment where you guys bumped heads or didn't see eye to eye? Um, no, because I can't. I can't remember. Got you, got you, got you. So it sounds like, you know, and which is, uh, I know I have a lot of uh, Asian friends, right? So I know, and that was a good question that Donna asked. You know, a lot of them have issues with that, with their uh, with their parents being, you know, uh, overprotective of them and then wanting them to date inside their race and stuff like that. And it mm-hmm. sounds like you had pretty easygoing parents that that cared, that loved you no matter what. Would yes. you describe that as? Yes, that you, you got the right definition. So um, I got married at the age of 19. Mm-hmm. So my parents just asked me, like, are you sure you, get, you, want it, you want to do this? I was like, yes. So after that, when they heard yes, I didn't have problems at all Beautiful. yeah, See, yeah they 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 always support me for what are the things that I want to do if if they can see that I'm happy doing it you know I'm comfortable doing it they'd be good so let's talk about that marriage how did you meet your husband um my ex-husband is the brother of my sister-in-law. What? Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lily? Homeless. Yes, that's how I met him. Is the brother of your sister-in-law. Yes. So... I have a brother who was married to the sister of my ex-husband. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. So how did that happen? What, what what was happening to where, how when you seen him, what was the feeling you got and vice versa? What, what would you say was the feeling he got? So this is the story. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to close <laughs> your eyes and live in that moment and tell us the story. This is for real. So I just had a break up with my ex that time. So I needed a break. So I decided to spend the week at my brother's house. Mm -hmm. So it just so happened my ex-husband was there because there was an occasion. So that's how it started. So we had vibes and all. So he, yeah, he, he's he's a nice guy. Well, how did you know he was a nice guy? What was the things that he did that made you know that he's a nice guy? Actually, um, he... He's really, really, really providing for his family and all. Mm-hmm. I saw like how he cares for his family, how he can provide for the stuff and all because you know, not all men are doing that. So if they they are single and they have their money, they have their jobs, they're gonna be all over the place and all. That that is very true. So, but he, you've seen something different in him. You've seen a profile. Yes. Okay. Yes. You think he's seen in you? I was 19 then. 
He was 31. What? Yes. He was, he, he's like 12 years older than me. Oh, yes, yes. So, yes, I'm fresh that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice little young thing. Long hair, like. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yes, that's a story. So here you go. Um, how did your brother feel about that? Because you guys were in his house. Yeah, he at first he was like, Melissa, um, I don't think it's you know, it's a good idea like being close to to him because he's my wife's brother. Right. He's, you know, kinda like and I was like, um, it will it will be good, you know, we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. yeah. How long But at first he was like that. He didn't agree. How long did the marriage last? Uh, he got married in two thousand three. He got separated in two thousand nineteen. Mm. Mm, and in the midst of so, that, you had three beautiful kids. Yes. Tell us, describe the moment when you, how old were you when you had your first kid? And describe the feeling that you got. Of course, it's, 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 it's our first, you know, it was first baby. Um, so we got married in 2000, 2000 three and then I had my 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 son 2004 so it was it was it felt so good you know having your first child like the moment I saw him I was like oh, it's a human from my tummy we were so happy we were so happy that time when we first saw him it was a great feeling. My parents too, they were so happy. Yeah. He's 20 years old right now. He's 20 I, I years old. To say that would make mm -hmm. him, well, because what, 16? That was 16, if my math is correct, 16 years of marriage. Yes. 16 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, but what, what went wrong in the marriage? Oh, um, he's been cheating on me. <sighs> Was yeah. his body younger than you? Um, actually, at first, I don't even know how they look like. I just saw something in in the text and all. So, yeah, it happened repeatedly, but due to the fact that I wanted to have a whole family, so I just bear with it. But again, everything has an expiration date. It's a fact. So you never knew or seen the person? Did you confront him about it? No, I did not do that. I didn't do that. Mm -mm. So you just kept it in every day. Yeah, you I, just, I just kept it in. No, so, unfair. Yeah. Yeah. So I have, I'm aware of what he was doing that time before I came here in the U.S. But then when I got here, my mom called me. She was crying. She was like, I'm going to tell you something. Um, she was crying. My dad, my dad and my mom, they were crying. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, this is what is happening. And then I, I faced it like this. Then my mom was like, why are you not surprised? Because I said, because I know what's going on. And then she was like, why you didn't tell us? So you need to, you need, you need, 
if if you did not leave the country, you, we will not know all about this. So what's going on? So she got she got upset, like she wasn't able to give me that support that time. Like I was down. Right. So I kept everything, but you know, within me. So I didn't tell anybody. I did the last, you know, before I left, I told my ex, my ex's sister, but they did not believe me. So Mm. I said, there you go. So how did your parents find out? So his current girlfriend or wife? from the neighborhood so it was it was really so sad when I got here um, people are messaging me like I saw with I saw with I saw with so he's with, he's with. and these people don't live in the same neighborhood like they were my cousins my friends back in high school, my 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 classmates who you know, who 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 know him. Right. So these are these are. I just put the pieces up, you know, put the puzzles of the you know pieces of the puzzle and all. Um. Yeah, yeah. So he exposed what he's doing in the community. In, in our neighborhood. So that's why my parents know about it. Gotcha. It was, it, I know for my parents, it, it is really a struggle for them because I've been working here, you know, supporting my kids and all, but that happened. But I said, it is what it is. In your mind, so who asked who for a divorce? What was the question? I'm sorry. Who asked who for a divorce? Me. And he was gladly to give it to you because he was with someone else? Actually, no. He gave me a hard time. Ooh. So he's with somebody else, but giving you a hard time? Yes. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's to say that. He's trying to have his cake and eat it too, huh? So he thought, so you went away. He didn't come with you. He chose to want to stay. Yes, you, now, you said that right. So, um, honestly, I gave it a chance. So I was like, I'm going to the U.S. if you want to go with me so we can start all over. And then he said he doesn't want to. Mm. I did my best. You did. I tried my best. And I'm glad you know your worth. Yes, you know, that's the time, like, I started to appreciate self-worth. Because when I was still with him, back in the days, I can't be late going home. Mm -hmm. I need to go home on time. I can't just go to the mall or hang out with my friends if he's not aware of it. I need to go home on time. Was he controlling in a relationship? Yes. Yes. Got you. Was you happy? Having having three kids made me happy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like if if it weren't him, I will not have this lovely kids with me right so you had came from the enjoyment of your kids but not from him yes yes but i did try my best to give my kids a whole family you know a complete family right but it doesn't work that way always so the thing that bothered you the most out of all of this is like the family breaking apart and yes yes I can see that. See why it would bother you. 
Uh, especially when you thought you had the one and then he's doing all of this and stuff. Right. Right. I thought I thought I thought I got the right one because he, he is he is a good man. He's a good yeah. man. Like he he he's supportive whenever what let's say for example I wanna do this, he's gonna support me. He's a provider for my kids. He he never failed. So and he, he's also good with his friends, with family members, you know. He's really generous. But again, that's the reason why I think they did not believe what's going on. Gotcha. It's just, a, it's like it, it was covered up. Mm. Now, in the midst of that, just got to ask, did you have ever have eyes for somebody else? No. Okay, so let's let's fast forward. You are currently in the U.S. now. Um, you're working as a teacher. What was your next move? Professionally? Professionally, but also relationship-wise, of you getting out of that relationship, going through the divorce, what was your next move? What were you doing? Were you talking to someone else? Did you meet someone? How long did it take you to meet someone else out here? Um, so professionally, because my certificate is like a Florida state certificate. So mm -hmm. now I am trying to get a certificate in Illinois. So I'm getting ready to get this reviews and all because I need to take the test, the PACS and the Pearson test. Yes. Yeah. So if I pass that, like I think four times, I can get the certificate without going through all of these trainings and all. So that's one thing. Um, right now, I am focused with my daughter. She really needed me. She needs. She needs me. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing right now. Right now. How old is your daughter right now? Three and a half. Three and a half. Mm -hmm. That was your your last gift. Yes. Yeah. I hope. I hope so. <laughs> I can't. I can't have. I can't bear another one. I'm old. Mm, nah, you're not old. How old are you? Forty. I'm turning 41 next month. Listen, we the same age, okay? I just turned 40, though. <laughs> I just turned 40. I'm turning 41 next month. Yeah, August. Beautiful. So so now you're, you're out here. I know you mentioned in 2022. Who did you meet? How did you meet them? Um... Through a friend. Yeah. You know we want the details. So tell us where was the friend at? Would you did you go to a party? Did you go to your friend's house? Dinner? Where, where did you go? And how did you meet? Um, we met in like in an event, like in a party. So someone mm -hmm. introduced him to me and all. Yeah. And you just he, 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 he's in the navy. Ooh, okay. Describe him to us so we can get a visualization. He's a good looking man. He's very, very attractive. He's very attractive. Um I I saw that he he really takes care of his son because he's living with his son. Although he was divorced too. So divorced oh, too, so you had something in common. Mm, yeah. And he had custody. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Was he, did he have long hair? Was it short? Was it wavy, curly, nappy? Bald. Bald. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, six uh, even. Six even. Six even. Okay. Six foot, navy, mm -hmm. uh, got custody of he, his. He he has his own shit. Yes, and he was like, mm -hmm. yeah. 
What attracted you more to him? I think, of course, first and foremost, physical, like, you know, physical appearance will really the first, like, it's an attraction. Yeah, and then the moment I started, you know, talking to him and all, it was, it, it, it went well. But of course, you know, sometimes he would be like, oh, I'm getting old. I don't, you know, just... It lasted for more than a year. Mm. Yeah. The it, thing is, the thing is, the thing is, we didn't get like a formal, formal relationship, formal one. It's, it's like, we're cool. Mm. So y'all was just cool, but smashing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Were you? Did you want more than that? Yes, I. Did. Yes. But was yes, that's why? That's why I'm like, I'm getting old. Oh, you no. said getting old. I thought he was saying that. No, I said I'm getting old. I'm getting old, so I can't just be like this. Right. And what was his response? It's, he was like, I'm, we cool. I'm like, huh? Oh, he hit you with the, uh, we cool. Yeah. yeah, and so that was, that was the moment I stopped. I stopped messaging, you know, messaging, messaging him and all. But he was like, you're ignoring me. You're ignoring me. I'm like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like maybe you there know. was something else or that he was talking to at the same time as you? Maybe. Maybe. Is, was he older or younger than you? Uh, older, like three years. Three years. Three years older than you. Three years. So Yeah, he, he, got, a, he, he got a new one because I saw the post on Facebook. Ooh. <laughs> you a Facebook watcher, huh? <laughs> Yeah, because it's my day thing. I'm like, okay. Was she was was she Philippine too, or mm -mm. how did mm. you feel? She's black. How did that? I mean, make it is what it is. Gotcha. It so, is what it is. So now, how do you spend your time now? Are you? You, right now you're 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 single. I'm assuming, or are you did you find someone on this app yet? Mm -mm. No. Are you still, even though you downloaded this app to find love, are you still looking for love? Of, of course. I I mean, not looking. Is it is it for me? If it is. You know, for you, it will come mm -hmm. if it is meant for you. So that's. Mm -hmm. How do you go about protecting yourself now? Protecting your heart. Yeah, I'm really aware of the red flags right now. Y you are but before. Yeah, yeah. I I just learned that. Like, if you see a red flag, don't don't wait for it to. To get the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Right. So, and I, and I say that because on this app, I find it very difficult to meet someone and for them to be truthful and, and everything like that. So, mm -hmm. have you met someone that you started talking to and then you had to pull back yet? Yes. Okay. And how did yes. that situation take place? Um... He he. When I was still in Florida, he was like nine hours away from from Florida. But you know, he did this. He he did this like effort and all to you know to go to you know visit me and all, mm -hmm. spend time in in Florida and all. But at first, I asked him like, 
is it okay with you if I'm streaming? He was like, yes. Yeah, it's okay. You don't have problems with that and all. And then uh, all of a sudden, he he was so disappointed because he went here and then I was streaming and he'd be like, I think we do have different priorities in life. Right. Yeah, I, I said, I thought, I thought it was okay with you. And it's like, I'm looking for, you know, you know, a woman who, who will have the same, you know, goals. I'm like, wait, we just, we just met, right? So how are you going to expect me to go beyond your expectations? Right. So we need to know each other well first. Mm. Did so, yeah. you, and did you classify that as the uh, the red flag for you? Yes. Okay. Did you feel like he was trying to control you in a sense? I guess. I guess because he was he was a manager and he was a manager in my stream. Uh oh, he thought it was his stream. The he was kicking out people. From I said, why are you doing that? Because you know, guys will be getting in my stream. They be like, Melissa, I like you. You're pretty. Mm -hmm. And he he was kicking out my 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 viewers. I'm like, don't do that because this this is a stream, right? And we're not official. Exactly. That was that def yeah. was definitely, and a lot of women like on this app go through things like that. You know, yeah. I always feel like like you know you got to have a certain level of confidence and and stuff, mm -hmm. and especially if they meet you as a streamer and this is something you enjoy doing, they shouldn't try to stop right. you. Right. You know. A lot of people make that mistake because when they meet someone, they want to please them, so they stop streaming and mm -hmm. they stop. Or and this is very well a source of income for them too. Yeah, and I you mean, because my 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 thing is, I need to keep the momentum. You know what I'm saying? Oh, certainly. Yeah, the, the, the you know people started to know more about me. So the momentum is still here. That's why I need to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So that's my point. Let me ask you this, Melissa. If you was talking to someone now and, and well, you were dating someone, right? And you know, there's signs of them probably talking or especially on this app to someone else. Would you say something? So if I'm talking to a guy, yes, and then so let's he's also talking to right. Michael's a streamer. You're a streamer now, you know, and you notice you go into Michael's stream, maybe on your account, maybe on a lurk account, okay. And you notice Michael is flirting with someone else, and it seems to be more of a relationship with someone else in his stream. Would you speak up and say something? Of course. Okay. Of course. Would you break up with him? I will. Okay. You know why I asked you that, right? Mm -hmm. Do you do you feel like you're more um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh do you feel like you're more outspoken now to where where you see something yes. else, right you would Yes. Yes. I needed to. I Good. needed to. What is, when you think about yourself, what are you most proud of when it comes to you? Um, I'm just so proud of myself because I was able to, to support my kids by myself. Period. That's it. Because my, 
it's it's not easy. My 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 eldest son, he's taking up mechanical engineering. He's in second year. He's in a private university in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. My second Did son in uh, high school, Mech Tech. My second son is in is in a exclusive school for boys, private school, exclusive mm -hmm. school for boys in the Philippines. And then my 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 youngest, my daughter, she's also in the private school. So it's a lot. It's it's a lot. It's a lot for me to do all of that. But you know, I need to keep grinding. Yeah. And and my parents, my parents live with my kids, and then my parents are taking this maintenance medicines. They are both diabetic. So again, it's not free. Mm -hmm. So I need to provide for that. And that is why even if this even if it's hard for me to live without my kids and my parents, I need to do it. And right now, your mm -hmm. young daughter is three years old, correct? Mm -hmm. Three and a half, yeah. How is that? And she's the only one that's living with you currently and mm -hmm. where at again? Illinois. Illinois, okay. How is, with you being the only person out there, how do you manage? Um, so her, her, her dad and I, we do have this good relationship when it comes to her daughter. We're really working hard for her you know, parenting and all, supporting and all. But even so, though he's out there? Hmm? Even though he's out there in the Philippines? No. Um, I have a baby daddy. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it. It's not your ex-husband? It's not. Is it the, the black guy? No. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Back up. How did this baby daddy come into play? I was in the latter part of 2019. Say that again. You was what? The latter part of 2019. Latter part of 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did y'all meet at? Um, um, I was I was test customer because they do they do logistics, so mm -hmm. they ship containers from U.S. to the Philippines. Got you. Yeah. And when you met him, he was like, who who talked to who first? Did you find him attractive when you met him? Not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. So what happened? How did y'all hook up? Um, so because we're, I'm, I'm his client, so he got my number so do you know for the updates because mm -hmm. where they are shipping you know filipinos around the u.s they're gonna buy stuff here put them in the big boxes and send it to them like they do have the shipping company mm -hmm. yes yes that's that's how we met he 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 he, he, he was a good guy you know mm -hmm. that was my first time like I felt I was treated good when it comes to dates like good restaurants surprises oh, he, he was taking care of you hmm? he, so he was taking care of you yeah yeah and then right. you, and you kind of you kind of fell for that like the the treatment and stuff like that that he was giving you yeah I mean, I'm not really after that, but physical, you that. know, physical stuff. You know how you, how you, how you care for me and all, how you support me. I'm not, I'm not talking about financial, okay? So, yeah, I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, because I'm working, so I don't, I don't need someone to right provide for me. So you yeah. can, have, but you, you, of course, you want someone to love, love you mm -hmm. and care for you and treat you. Yeah. Trust me, I get it. So, 
so of course he he was doing that, and then you eventually started to fall for him. Yeah. Would you say you you fell for him? And yeah. um, did y'all begin the date, or was it just? Yeah, we 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 dated. Yeah. Okay. It, it was it was a good it was a good one. It was a good one. So what happened with that relationship? Um. Uh. His his parents they don't they don't like it. Mm. Was he what what was his nationality? He's Filipino. He was Filipino. Mm. Because they. And what was it about you that they didn't like? So his mom thought that he was the one supporting my kids back in the Philippines. But it's not true. Mm. So you were supporting your own kids, but his mom just felt like. So would you say that she felt like you was possibly using him? Yes, that's a word. Mm -hmm. yes, because they 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 have the bag. Right, right. They have the bag. And so then what? With her thinking that, right? Did that is that why the relationship went down because he listened to his mom or um not care what his mom had to say and still wanted to be with you um when we were still doing the business in Florida so his his dad decided to close the branch in Florida mm. that made him so devastated. Wait, I'm sorry. Um, the last part that made him so devastated and all. Cause mm -hmm. I, I feel like he got depressed, and he was just at home for three months, not doing anything, and yeah. And so I, I was like, um, don't you want to? Don't you want to go to Chicago so you can help your dad with the business over there? And he was like, I don't want to because I want to stay here. But I said, you have to do something. You have to do something because you've been sitting here and not doing anything. I'm not after, like, if he's working or what. He was like, we can still live for two years even if I will not work. Like, that's not my point. My point is for you to do something so you will not get depressed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, How long was he not doing anything, though? What was that? How long was he sitting there not doing anything? So from Three the time months. close, how many months passed by? Three months. Mm -hmm. Three months. And what did he say? He said, I don't want to do nothing right now? Yeah. He said, I don't want to do anything right now. I do understand that because it, 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 was, it wasn't easy for, for us to do that one um, because we really work hard right. for, for, for the company. You know, sleepless nights in the warehouse, travel and all. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. Yeah. But they still have that one here in in, uh, in, in Illinois. Illinois, New York, and New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, the the biggest the biggest one is in New Jersey, New York. Yeah, All right, New Jersey. That's where I'm at. Let's go. <sighs> They're from <laughs> Bergenfield. They were from. They they are from Bergenfield. Bergenfield. I have yeah. no idea what that's. I would have to look it up. <laughs> and I'm sure that's somewhere close. But um, so yep. Yeah. Yep, Bella. So, so let me ask you this. Now, did y'all did you guys wind up breaking up after that, or um, were you already pregnant during that time? We already had the baby that time. You had the baby at that time. Yes. Yes. Got you. And mm -hmm. he's letting you know we he can still like he's good financially. He can go to a good two years. Without yeah. the, but you, that wasn't the point. You didn't want him yeah, to. That was the point. Yeah. 
or something. You don't want them mm -hmm. sitting in your face all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, boy, go do something. You annoy me. <laughs> Listen, I got a bad. So, so, but he didn't. So, why did you guys break up? What was the final straw that made you move on? Um, I think it's. It's family. Family. It's family. They they don't really you know. They saw I'm I'm just using him. It was it was so sad. It was so sad. And you left. Is he still in his child's life now? Does he still? Yeah. Yeah. Provide? Yeah. But y'all just separate. Did he move on? Is he with someone else? Does he still? No. Want no. No, he, he, he wasn't with someone else. Mm -mm. He still wants you, though? Like, if he had that opportunity, he I was... Yes, I guess. What do you want? What do you want going, like... Um, this is, this is, this is, this is what happened, so... He's been, he's been, you know, motivating me to move over here that time. But I can't because I do have the contract. So I can just drop everything. So yeah, the communication got slow, but but it, but if it is about my daughter, we're active. Yeah, the communication got slow and all, but when I move back here, I I, I can see like it's different. Right. So and then um, he was able to talk to my friends when they visited them in New Jersey. Few, like last month, he said, "I want Melissa to take care of my daughter." Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's he's still the perfect world, right? What was that? Describe to us what your perfect world will look like. Um, uh, you know what? I am not really a materialistic person. I'm not. I said before, I grew up from a poor family. Mm -hmm. So I'm not with the purses. With, oh. mm -mm, I, don't, I don't mind. For as long as I can see, provide everything for my kids, not not only financially, you know, mentally support, men, mental, all of the aspects. But, but, but of course, physical, I can't do that because I'm away from them, you know. But I'll make sure that I will be sending someone you know, I'll be talking to someone if they needed, you know, this physical support, you know, actual yeah. showing up. Because I have my parents, I have my cousins, I have my aunties, I have my uncles and all. So everybody's over there in the Philippines. Um, Yeah, I really, I just want the best education for my kids. And having a peaceful life, no drama, no toxicity, you know, I think that's, that's, that's it. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are here right now, if you have any questions for Melissa, please hit the plus sign and come in as a guest, or you may begin to ask your questions in the comments right now. Okay, so if you have any questions for Melissa, mm -hmm. it hit the plus. Not too hard. <laughs> and ask your questions, or you can ask your questions from the comments. All right, um, Melissa, before we, uh, while they're preparing their questions, uh, what are your goals for the future? Um, my goals, 
Um, um, it's been five years. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm away with my kids. Mm. Right? So it was 2019 when I moved to the US. I really wanted my kids to be here and my parents. Do you, how often do you go back to visit them? I haven't. I haven't seen them for five years. Wow. I haven't. So, yeah, I guess my daughter, she has the visa that time, but her dad didn't allow her to go. That's the sad part. Oh, the dad I hear. That's a sad part. So, oh, because both of y'all, you need both consent in order for her to go. Yes, yes. She, my my, my daughter, she needs this paperwork, like um, for her dad to sign. So she did not sign it. So she missed the opportunity. Is he afraid? Is he afraid that? Um, is he afraid I, that if he goes out there, he's not gonna see her? I I guess, I guess, or it's either he just wants to give me a hard time. Have you ever invited him to come? Out? Have you have you what? Sorry. You ever invited him? Like okay, for an example, like, say, hey, let's take a trip out there. We can meet. So your daughter can meet their, her, their, um, their other siblings as well. No. I think if you invite him to come out there and meet your parents. He, 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 he's not open with that. He's not. Yeah. So, so. Thank you. Yeah, he's not open with that one. Got you, got mm. you. All right. Any questions from the audience? I have one. All right. So Donna has a question. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So give thank down. You. Um, can you guys hear me? You're off mute. I know. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, the dry is going crazy in the background. Okay, Melissa. Nice interview. My last question would be: um, You appear to be very soft-spoken, shy, somewhat timid. Um, <clears throat> but from my experience, typically people who are somewhat withdrawn and shy have a wild side at times. What would you say was one of your wildest moments? Um, that's a hard question. Yeah, I think that's a hard question for me. Uh, I can't think of an answer for that. I can, can you hear them? I'm sorry, give us one moment. There was a, a maintenance guy is here and he's asking us a question. So bear with me for one moment, okay? I'm so, so, so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Think about your teen years. I was and I am doing good. I can't think of Okay, I am muted myself. You can you can you can speak. I think we're all the same right It doesn't have to be that. Okay. So Okay. Um, so this is this what happened like during high school and college years. I have this um, childhood friend who went to the same school, like when we were still high school, guy. We were still high school, and when we went to college, you know, we are like brothers and sisters. So this is what we're doing before. Um, so if he has something to attend, and I do have a party to attend to, we're going to be telling our parents we're going to go on the same party. 
but we're not. But we're going to go home at the same time. We're going to meet somewhere. Okay, we'll be like, at 11 p.m., you should be in 7-Eleven, okay? You should be in that store. We're going to go home at the same time because mom and dad knows I'm with you. That's it. <laughs> I'm snitching on you. I'm calling your mom right now. <laughs> I feel like she has a wildest story, but I guess she went away. <laughs> I didn't even expect her to do that. <laughs> that was, um, so I so wanted uh, something deeper. Deeper. I can't think of something. Yes. Okay, so what about do you do you understand the terminology ratchet? No. Okay, See, so that's what I I'm guess talking about. about. I guess wild and and ratchet is somewhat on the same level, but ratchet is like a little bit more, you know, a little deeper, a little darker. Mm -hmm. So in your adult years, you pretty much will consider yourself like, how would you consider yourself? Ah, that's a hard question for me. (laughs) I'm I'm the one that's asking the hard questions in that role. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From the probe me the most. <laughs> yeah. So how do you how would you I, describe yourself outside of work? Because you know, normally at work we're all buttoned up and we wear that face where we're a good employee and you know you want to do the right things because we want that promotion. Yeah. But when when you get out of work and you're with your friends, how would you describe yourself? Um, base. One second. From mm-hmm. you know, like how they describe me, it's um, I'm really um supportive when it comes to stuff. I'm loyal. Okay. I'm a loyal friend, a loyal family mm-hmm. member. I am very supportive no matter what. No matter what, rather die. Yeah. Um, and I'm really nice to be with. There will be no dull moments if you're going to be, you know, spending time with me. Okay. Yeah. I'm and just how, too shy right how, now. And how would you say you are with your partner after a couple of drinks? What was that? How would you describe yourself with your partner after a couple of drinks? Um, like someone you're attracted to. Thank you. Yeah. You know what? I'm really funny. Are you funny? Really? I like really funny, funny or goofy? Person. Funny. It, funny? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you crack jokes? I mean, um, not really, but you know what? Um, It's not... I'm... It's not always, you know, the conversation will not be always be serious, like serious matters. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's like like so you loosen up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not too All serious. Right. Yeah. All right. And my last question know. will be: How does it feel? How did it feel opening up to myself, role and the audience? What was that? How did you feel opening up to myself, role and the audience? Um, I am, I got, I, I, I am very comfortable talking to you guys. Yeah. Good. Um, kind of like it gave me an opportunity to reminisce. Go <laughs> 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 back to that. <laughs> it was, it was good vibes. And I, I don't know, like, I, cause for me, when whenever like I mean personally and when I'm streaming, I just give you know my natural side. It's it's me because right now you just you're you just can't see me wearing you know my outfit and a little bit of makeup. But most of the time I'll be streaming as soon as I wake up, bare face and all, just wearing my t shirt and all, you know, kind of like. Being natural, being myself. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate, and I appreciate you, you Donna. Whoa, yeah, well, let me make so sure much. I have your favorite. Oh, I'll save it for that. Sorry, I didn't think I. Thank you. I just favored you back. You're welcome. King Tess, thank you, thank you so much. Raz, ooh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Appreciate you guys for inviting me. It's an honor to be in this show. Um, so, so I appreciate you, Michelle. Um, thank you for your Manita, Papi. Um, at first, when they, when Medusa visited me, visited me in my stream, and he was he was messaging me in IG and Melissa. Uh, I'm inviting you to be in role models. I was like, I don't know how to act. This is my reaction. <laughs> this is my reaction. Role, this is my reaction. I said, I don't know how to act. And I don't know how to <laughs> how to understand and understand the conversation because most of the time I'm lost. Because of the I've been watching be, be, because of the colloquial words. Because of right. the topics, I am not really aware of. So I said, "How can I do that?" And then he was like, "No, it's just an interview. Why are you talking about Melissa?" And I was like, "Oh, so you didn't tell me." Those who said sign you up. <laughs> so so, bear with me. I am so sorry. Meow. <laughs> you so did good. good. You did good. You did oh, really good. God. Please, um, if if you don't have Melissa Fave, favor her right now. Melissa, is there any events you got coming up? Anything you would like to promote the opportunity to speak about the stage? Yes. Um, uh, guys, um, um, this month, the tentative date is um, on the 23rd. I will be having an event. It's about the new streamers. We're gonna be introducing new streamers in the app, it, it, but it's it's not it it will be, it will not be a regular regular show. It's a one time show because I know there are streamers who are doing that weekly. So for for my stream, we will only do it do that one time. Thank you, uh, thank you for your help, uh, King Taz and uh, Medusa for helping me with this and Teacher. Um, LB one time, 23rd of July, we're going to be introducing new streamers in the app. And then um, um, Medusa and I are planning another event um, soon. Um, I'll keep you posted. It's about streamers from, other, from the different parts of the countries. So they're going to be sharing something. That will be, that will be, that's what we're cooking Medusa and I are talking about that. Yeah. Shout out to Medusa. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. And um, yes, um, I'm a day streamer right now. Because as soon as I drop off my daughter, I can start streaming until I the time that I need to pick her up. So I rarely stream at night. If she will sleep early, Bam. Bam. I'll be on the screen. <laughs> but first and foremost, it's you no, make it's her first. Taking care of first. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Sosa. Mm -hmm. Bro, I appreciate mm -hmm. you. Medusa Dona. Please give a round of applause from Platinum Badge, Melissa Asian Persuasion. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, Thank you so much, Melissa. I appreciate you. Sin City, if you are in here, please hit the box. And while he prepares to hit the box, um, y'all. Thank you. That's for you. That's from me. Thank for you. you. Melissa Asia Persuasion pulling up. She said, get in the ride, y'all. Let's go. Thank you, Melissa. Yo, thank Let's you. Bring I it appreciate back to that you all. Song that we love so much, y'all. Yeah. Thank you, Melissa. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Melissa.